Hi guys. So today I want to talk about one of my personal favorite works of Manet's, and also one of his most important late work, called *A Bar at the Folie Bergere*, painted in 1882 and a highlight of that year's Paris Salon. The work depicts another young woman of the working class, but this time a fully clothed barmaid who is psychologically complex. Yet ambiguous gaze completes a powerful scene combining intimacy, isolation, and social class relations. In a painting of Bar at the Folie Bergere, Manet depicts the sexual being of a woman through the environment, gaze, and clothing. During the 19th century, the effects of house modernization were tremendous. Paris was rebuilt and reorganized and turned into the fashionable, elegant, and delicate city that we're familiar with today. Many of the leisure places, like bars and department stores, during that time employed attractive women to lure potential customers to their businesses. Young, beautiful women standing next to the dazzling products made the commodities seem more alluring. While Manet puts the girl at the bar surrounded by the fruits, flowers, and shiny liquor bottles, he creates a mixed sexual, sensual aura and visual pleasure for the customers and the audience, which cultivates a sense of seduction. So the sexual image of the girl represents how women were looked at through men's eyes. The presence of the bourgeois gives the painting another layer of sexuality. In a painting, we can see the reflection of a girl approached by a bourgeois through the mirror that could be another girl at the bar or the bar girl herself, and it makes the viewer question if he's only asking for a drink, or he's trying ask for the price. She has become a part of the sales, something for men to consume. The depiction of the girl as a sexual being was intentional. So Mane deliberately paints the girl with clothes that brings out her figures. The dark, tight dress shows her small waist. Her jewelry yields an elegant look while drawing the viewer's eyes to her soft, delicate neck. The soft, fuzzy, furry, wide open collar that shows the skin of her neck and breasts, grabbing the customer's attention, and by having a plan that covers the. Cleavage of the girl, it triggers the viewer to get lost in their wild and fanciful thoughts. While a full nude painting might offer the audience some sort of sexual gratification, the subtlety of the subject in her tight dress and selectively clothed body teases the viewer in a way that turns the subject into more of an object of anticipation than satiation. The gaze itself could be interpreted as sexual and seductive, but unwillingly. Her facial expression is cold and distant. Her lips are closed, and her eyes are slightly downcast. That gives an empty, unwilling look instead of one fully opened with excitement. So, there is the possibility that she could be tired of her life, her occupation, or being treated and consumed by men as one of the commodities during this era of mass consumption. However, the gaze can also be interpreted as initiative and rebellious. So, during the late 19th century, women's look and gaze underwent a drastic change. The reflection of her body in the mirror shows. That she's leaning towards the man instead of being passive or apathetic, meaning their interaction may be one of mutual interest. The viewer also sees the full, open frontal portrait of her body in the center of the painting, giving the audience a sense that she's not afraid of her situation, that she's confident and experienced in dealing with interested patrons. Either way. Mane portrays the gaze that seems authentic and real. This gaze allows the audience to reverie and interpret the subtle interaction with the subject of the painting, while also being fully unambiguously surrounded by an environment of mass consumption and modernity. Now imagine Paris not as the stuffy 19th century backdrop, but as a bustling metropolis teeming with Instagram influencers. Pop-up bars and Tinder dates gone wild. 
Thanks to a little thing called gentrification, our cityscape is peppered with artisanal coffee shops and hipster boutiques, because nothing says progress like a ten-dollar latte, right? Our leading lady, she's not just slaying drinks; she's the ultimate Instagram influencer, with her perfectly curated outfit, flawless makeup, and a gaze that could launch a thousand likes. Surrounded by neon lights, craft cocktails. And the incessant buzz of social media notifications, she's the reigning queen of the modern age. And oh, the bourgeois—they're not your typical aristocrats. They're the tech bros, the finance dudes, and the self-proclaimed influencers, all vying for her attention like seagulls fighting over a French fry. With every awkward pickup line and thinly veiled attempt of sophistication, they're the living embodiment of the modern-day male gaze: desperate, clueless, and utterly predictable. Our leading lady, she's not here to play by the rules. With a smirk and a flick of her perfectly styled hair, she's reclaiming her power in a world dominated by men with fragile egos and inflated bank accounts. Her gaze—it's not just a look; it's a statement, a middle finger to the patriarchy and celebration of female empowerment in all its glory. So, step into the wild world of a bar at a fully bajer, where sarcasm reigns supreme. And the only thing more intoxicating than the cocktails is the sweet taste of liberation. So cheers to that.